Hi there friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and here we are again for another sticker in our sticker series and I'm feeling like uh, a bit cheeky today so I think we're going to work on our little cheeky monkey here. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a sticker series that I'm working on with my twin sister Judy from Crafting with Judy and let me see here. Hold for one moment. I need to grab... There we go. I needed to grab a cover minder. And all a cover minder is is a magnet that's attached to any small object. It could be a brooch, it could be this little game piece here. And once you put the one magnet behind your sheet or canvas, whatever you're working on, and you attach the other, it will hold your plastic in place your saran in place. So I also want to go ahead, since I am going to have, there we go. Let's see here. Nope, that won't work. Let's bring this down just a little bit more. I wanna make sure that this is covered as well. Okay, there we go. And Let's go ahead and fold this over as well. So this is a sticker series that I'm working on with my twin sister, Judy, from Crafting with Judy. Please hop on over to her channel and subscribe to her videos and channel as well. And so let's get started. This is our second sticker series together, she and I. We've already completed a sticker series, which was a lot of fun. And so we decided to do another. We weren't even finished with the first sticker series, and Judy is asking me, you know, uh, what's, what's going to be our next steer, uh, sticker series? And I said, I don't know. You pick. So she picked the stickers. She got them from Amazon, and she gifted this set to me. So that's what we're working on. We still don't know what we're working on for our next series because we do want to carry on doing these daily videos together. We're just not sure what we're going to work on next. I don't think it's going to be stickers. and I'm not sure if it's going to be a canvas. And I don't know if it's going to be an off the canvas. I don't know. I know nothing. So you all will probably be as surprised as me when we finally figure it out that's okay. There's so many options. My goodness. You know, I love it that you don't have to stay with one type of um, category of project for projects, you know, like canvas. You, you don't have to stay with just working on canvas pictures for diamond painting. The off the canvas options are limitless. I've seen notebooks with diamond painting. I have a couple, as a matter of fact. Uh, tissue boxes, little cases that hold glasses, cases that hold masks. If you have to go out in public and you're in an area where you need to wear a mask, you have a little container where you can put a mask. Um, mirrors, you know, compact mirrors. Window clings. I have a set that I did of window clings, and they're really pretty. You can do wind chimes, and oh my gosh, there is just tier, three tier trays, placemats. I mean, the the it's the coasters, keychains, jewelry. It's limitless. And there's even people out there that are taking objects that aren't typically done in diamond painting and they're diamond painting them with their leftover drills making new designs and new crafty you know um, outlets to use their spare drills with so that's neat Crafty World is so creative. It really is.
I love it. And if you saw yesterday's video, you would see that it was an ASMR video where I did not talk. I just diamond painted in the quiet. And I worked on a little giraffe. It was really cute. I enjoyed doing that. Because I, what I call, I batch record. I'll do a week's worth of recording, Monday through Friday. I'll get it done all in one day. Because today is Sunday. And you're seeing this, I believe it'll be on a Thursday. And these, you know, videos are already taped and edited and posted on YouTube and scheduled all in one day. So this way I'm not stressing out about meeting any deadlines and making sure that the video is up. They're already up. They're already done. And I do it all in my spare time while my husband is watching a NASCAR race with our dog. Let me just reload my pen. And, uh, Well, that's why it didn't work because I already had a drill on there. Okay, dead. But uh, I don't even think I need one. Okay, great. We'll switch colors. And I don't know where I was going with that, so we're gonna pivot to another subject. Oh goodness gracious! R and I funny. Let's see if there's anything else in here. No. So we're going to do the middle part of his face with the number five. If I happen to come back to what I was doing, what I was talking about, I will. Most likely I won't. It's gone forever. Oh, friends, I'm sure you've gotten that way too. But yesterday's video was fun. I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. I'm sure you're tired of hearing my voice. And okay, here's where I was going with this. Because I batch tape videos, I may not have a whole lot to talk about unless there's a subject that happens to pop into my mind. So sometimes you'll, well, most of the time you'll hear me say, you know, the same things. I promote Judy's channel, my twin sister Judy from Crafting with Judy, and, you know, talk about how we've been working on this sticker series and such. And if I happen to be working on a sticker that triggers a story, then I'll tell you that story. Uh, matter of fact, working on this monkey is making me think of a story that my husband Todd told me. And when he was growing up, there was this local attraction in our area. And it was called the Monkey Farm. And my mother-in-law and his, and uh, Todd's mom and his aunt and family all used to take these little day trips, like on the weekend, they used to go on little day trips around the area. To the different attractions they used to take all their kids and make a fun day of it and one of the places that they all went was this place called the monkey farm and it there's no mystery there kids it was a farm that had a bunch of monkeys on it all different types of uh, monkeys so they were there visiting one time and evidently one of the monkeys tried to attack my husband <laughs> and he has never <laughs> gotten over that I laugh because I mean it's funny to hear it from the outside but I'm sure it was quite scary for him being a little kid and being like this monkey was trying to grab at him I don't I can't recall if, if the monkey actually grabbed him or not but evidently this monkey was trying to grab at him and it really made him upset poor guy but uh so you know 
looking at this little monkey reminds me of that story. So if you get bored with the same old, same old, I am sorry. I am trying to think of different things to talk about. Uh, I had, oh, I forgot. Teresa from Teresa's Journey. Hi, babe. Sorry I forgot your question the first part of this week, but here we go. I had last week told everybody that if you had any questions for me, to feel free and ask. I mean, as long as it's not terribly personal, I'm pretty much an open book. So Teresa actually posted a question, and I'm happy to answer it. The first part, it was a two-part question. The first part of her question was, I needed three drills here, friends. Look at how many drills I pour. Honestly, Deb. Her first part of her question was, how old was I when I married Todd? And how old was Todd when we got married? And the second part of her question, I've made mention before that I've been married previously. And she wanted to know how old I was when I married my first husband. So... I'll answer it in order. So the first part of that question was, how old was I and how old was Todd? I was 29 and Todd was 37. His birthday was in March, mine's in October. And we got married in June. So he had just turned 37. I was just going to turn 30. So that's how old we were when we got married. And I was 18 when I married my ex-husband. And um, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> that's really nothing. You know, I was 18 when I got married the first time. So if anybody else has any other questions for me, I will be happy to answer them again, as long as they aren't too terribly personal again my life is pretty much an open book i will answer you know uh just about any question but please keep it clean keep it decent and as long as it's not you know derogatory or terribly personal i'll be happy to answer a question so friends that being said look at this lovely cheeky little monkey and when i say cheeky he really is he's got those cute little pink cheeks right there i'm going to pull this back there we go, and I'll bring him up. Isn't he precious? Cheeky little monkey. So friends, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today and listen to me go on and forget what I was going to say and then pivot back to it. I'm a hot mess, and I'm, I will always be a hot mess, but hopefully I'm a hot mess that you enjoy watching and you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Please hit that thumbs up. And please leave me a comment and uh, let me know if you have a little a little name for our little monkey here. And please hop on over to Judy's channel, Crafting with Judy, and say hello that uh, and tell her that her big sister Debbie sent you over. And please consider subscribing to her channel as well. And friends, until I see you all again, God bless you. You take care. Oh, let's go ahead and put... There we go. Take care. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting. Goodbye now.